Okay, today I'm going to show you how to install DCS Simple Radio. First, we're going to go to the Eagle Dynamics um, Simple Radio page. Um, you should be able to find this just by Googling it. And you're going to check you have both these links installed here. Um, that one contains two installers, this one contains one. Uh, you need to download them both and run them all. You'll probably have everything that uh, it's trying to install. However, I recommend very strongly that you all do that even if you know or think you have them, as uh, it just removes another thing we have to troubleshoot. If worst comes to worst, it will just say, you already have this installed. Okay, so next we're going to go to the GitHub page, where the Simple Radio download is. And we're going to just install Simple Radio Standalone, down here. And uh, I put it on my desktop, which is a complete mess at the moment. Go to where you downloaded it and run the installer. Okay, on the installer we have the uh, install location of DCS Simple Radio itself. And then we have the location of your save game folder, which is users, your name, save games. Then what you're going to need to do is click install. Once you've done that, you should go to where you installed it. So mine is under my Z drive. Simple Radio in here and run the client radio. Uh, mine is also always already open. Okay, what you need to do next is go to settings. Check that every th first three options are off. And the bottom four also off. This is the default. You shouldn't have to change anything. Then you go to controls. And uh, the best way to do it for you guys is probably set a um, push and talk for each radio. So one, two, and three. You probably won't need all the ones up to ten. And uh, that's just a push to talk for each, or alternatively, you can set a com push to talk and also a next and previous radio selector. Once you've done that, all you'll need to do is go to general, put the IP for the server in, click connect. Um, if you have problems talking or hearing anything, check that your microphone and sound is set up correctly, and uh, check you remember your push to talks. Once you've installed it all and you're on a server and you've set the radio in your cockpit of your aircraft, simply just go to one of these overlays and check the frequencies that are all correct and how you want them. 